Hey, uh, recap on that, Frank. What happened? Uh, Taylor Paul got hammered on that giant set. Got held down for a long time. Uh, busted capillaries in his lungs and he was spitting up blood. Got him to the beach. What happened to the other guy? <laughs> How you doing? What's going down? Fucking serious, serious long period death interval waves. Yeah. It's it looks beautiful, but it's really challenging. Pros only. That was sick, Ryan. What's up with this swell? Now, uh, super typhoon off Japan goes up, hits the jet stream off of Kamchatka, goes extra tropical. Then this one had 53 foot seas in '97. We didn't really have the technology, but I think it was 50 foot plus seas. So very similar setup. So I'd say finally, for the first time in four years, we have an opportunity for a real winter surf season. It was a rare opening day, classy conditions, late October, which is, I don't know, since I've been surfing Mavericks, hasn't happened very often. So everyone knew it, everyone was on it, the anticipation was through the roof. You could feel the energy in the water, but it was a good energy. It was, you know, people just giving their respects to Her Majesty, which is Mad Mavericks. So, you know, you couldn't really ask for a better day, and it made sense that everyone was coming over from around the world and it uh, definitely provided what everyone hoped. I mean, it probably wasn't as big as we would have thought, but that being said, it was still a beautiful day. And um, I mean, it's still a thrill at 20 foot, 30 foot. So we had a great day and it was a little crowded in the morning, kind of dwindled down throughout the high tide when it got slower, but uh, it seemed like there was a lot of waves that were shared that day. and. I mean, everyone was kind of pushing each other deep, but it was such a peaky swell, so it seemed like a lot of us that were taken off deep could get around the section, but it also kind of blocked everyone's view who was on the closer to the shoulder of the wave, so there was definitely a lot of burning going on, but everyone came out safe and nothing too crazy happened, so I uh, kind of happened to me a lot. I had shared some waves with some friends and everything was all good. But yeah, it's just kind of what you expect out there when it's that crowded and Mavericks is not a really big takeoff zone if you think about it, especially when everyone's pushing themselves and trying to get under it, under the apex of the pit. So, you know, what can you say? You just We're all hoping for that big day and want to learn and inspire each other to go deeper and push it and maybe try to pack one eventually. But you think about that and then once you're out there, it pretty much seems like it's impossible. So. I don't know, we'll see. We maybe have to get the Pete Mel chip in to get a tube out there. Or maybe one day one of these young lads that are just fearless will freaking backdoor that thing. So we shall see. But overall, opening day at Mavericks was perfection, and I hope uh, there's more days like that to come. And excited to see everyone out there, and no, can't complain. We're all doing it for the love, and I, well, I hope so at least. But it seems like that because the energy was through the roof. So, peace and love, everyone. <laughs> Sage. Fucking got Drake, the man. Fucking legend. Look out there, brother. What's, What's up that? this morning, boys? Let me know. Swell hit last night. Were you out last night? We were out. It was pretty sick. Hopefully, oh, there's still some good ones. You. I got John's board. What are you what are you riding today? 
Chesky. <laughs> Chesky. <laughs> All right. Look at this one. Did he make it out? Oh no. Holy shit. Fox. Fox. That was fox. Oh, that. that picked up until that second one. Oh, Look at this one. Third one. Holy snap. The condor is in that thing. Oh. oh! That was a bomb, huh? Another one. Another Somebody, one. He's down, he's down. Sage, you might have to get off, dude. Yep. How's he doing? I think he's good. Okay. No, he's good, he's good. We gotta go in and get him. <laughs> he got f***. I'm lucky. Yeah, he didn't get Who the f was that? Oh, hey, Sage, is that what you want to see? Bro, that's what we want to see. A little more of that. Come <laughs> on. A couple more of those and the day is starting. Ooh, a little, little warm up. Yeah, Hunter. <laughs> Good morning, Mel's. Morning. Beautiful day. Isn't it? Look at this. It's like a reunion. So rad. Hey, uh, John, are you on? Are you like qualifying yet, or are you, are you close? <laughs> Not yet. Well, I'm on my way to the Challenger Series, hopefully. So. What, what place are you in right now? Or like? First on the North American ranking, so you gotta get top eight in that. You're what? I'm uh, first right now. Shit. So you gotta get top eight in that rankings, and then you'll be on the challenges next year. So and there's four more events. So I need one, one probably one more good, bigger old. I'll be there. Dude, your surfing's completely showing. Somehow you're like getting better and better, yeah, pretty sick. But hey, what about today? What about today? Um, it seems like it's gonna be a beautiful one. We saw a pretty nuts six wave set. Now we're just watching. We're gonna get a read on it, and then we're out there. Ride a couple waves, get to the end of the day, and go to bed. It's amazing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Heads up. I was sick, Hunter. Welcome back to home. Thank you. Yeah, home. home. Good place. Dude, that was a bomber. Thanks, Kurt. Yeah, hopefully more, a lot more. Hopping Bay Boys right here, yeah, Thomas, Jason, Banner, Luca. LP, Peter, freaking all the Groms, Edon, uh, all the locals. Still can see everyone else too. It's funny, like the first swell, it's like, you see all the faces, you're just like, so like, It's like it's like unexplained, like that feeling. Yeah, it's sick. Like it's everyone, everyone else just like gets it, you know. It's just when you try and describe that feeling, you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got to write her down. Hunter's good. Copy that. It gets like more special every time too. Oh yeah, for sure. Like those brotherhood connections. And, yeah. Freaking. And then you just think about everyone that's not here. You're just like, oh, Mikey, oh, you know, Peter, Thomas, oh. But we'll all reconvene eventually. Yeah, just soak up all this beautiful. It's like those days that you talk about. Like, oh, remember that day? We're, we're in it, the trifecta. That's a
Skid marks. There you go. Oh, bro, there's big waves behind this wave. There's some, like, legit bombs coming in right now. Holy crap. That was sick. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Look at that left. Look at that left. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, the boneyard today, some broken leashes, um, just really walled up waves in there so a lot of the pickups have been kind of intense just because it's super ledged out on the inside. What but, was the gnarliest one? What was the gnarliest pickup? Um, probably the one I got Manny on after his two wave hold down and then I couldn't outrun the wave to the right so we had to go to the left and it took me all the way to the cliffs before I could get around that thing. That was him. That was Manny? Yeah. There's Manny's in the ball. That one, the, the airdrop is kind of gnarly. Dude, it kept me under for a long time. Yeah? And for the first time I pulled the, the vest because I knew I was not coming up. I was so under, the, the ears were popping. And it took me to a place I knew I was not coming up. I knew I could tell. Uh, it was different. I, I'm not coming up. I knew it. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Jeez. What, what, like how long do you think you're under? I don't know. Yeah. And luckily the second wave wasn't that big, you know, kind of released me quick. It wasn't like a whole second wave, you know, it was like one and a half. You know? Yeah, yeah, the capper kind of almost, half capper. Yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> what did it look like from down there? <laughs> from under, I only hear like, I know, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> did Steve's two wave hold down influence you oh, on that? Really. Yesterday. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I want one of those. Steve, huh? <laughs> Is he okay? I, I think so. He seemed like he was surfing right after that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, his was way heavier. Really? I don't know. His was heavy. Mine, what happened with mine was like, I airdropped, couldn't stack it, like, on my back. 
And then I saw the leaf like hitting my head. So when I went under, I already had no air. You know, I went already like without air. So that made it a little worse. Dude. Yeah. What do you do in your mind? Like just to calm down, like what do you do? At first I was like, oh, I wanna I don't wanna get a two wave, I don't wanna get two waves, but then when I heard the second wave and I was already tired, I thought, okay, okay, now I gotta go through this one, you know. Take it easy and just go through this one. Dude, I, Manny was so freaking stoked that I picked him up on that one. He was so gassed. <laughs> well, after that, like, I, I was a bit tired, so I, and I, I was inflated. I said, okay, I'm not gonna swim anymore. And I just waited to pull me up. And right there, it was break, luckily, because the third wave was coming. I was already pretty tired. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, he does have somebody. How are we looking, Drake? He's okay, he's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm Okay, maybe that's usable. You. All right. Who's that? He stuck it. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we got more. You. Oh, nobody's going left. All right, got a guy down. Nice take off. Yeah. What up, Sage? What up, brother? About to get it. Yeah. Been watching for like an hour, seen some fun waves, a couple sick ones, a couple falls, people have gotten beat downs. I think um, Hunter got probably the wave of the day so far. Or maybe Eric Nicholson, but still a lot of time left. So a couple lefts, maybe go try and take a gander, see what happens. That's it. Yeah, 
Backsider. Two of them, three of them. Okay, you got a dick guy down. He's good. Oh yeah, vaporized. Another guy down, vaporized. Mr. Drake doing a water safety pickup. All right, backsider. You. No takers, come on. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Oh, snap. Took a terrible tumble. Somebody's flying through the air. Oh, that was super late. Inside. There's boards in one piece. Way on the rock, Parker. Oh, pounded. You. He's good. Just let your board go. Back to check on him. Drake went in. Oh shoot. Uh oh. Rock balls. You got lucky on that one. <laughs> Look how far that guy got blown. All the way from the outside to the lagoon. Well, he kind of did. He went over him. Oh yeah, first left of the day. Yee! Is that John Mel? It could only be John Mel. Yo! Pass that one, Eric? Yeah, somebody went left and he's down. Where'd he be? There he is. Who was that? Stand by. Please give me this. Yeah, hop that wave. Who was that? That was John Mill, and his dad got him. Oh, he's returning the favor. Nice airdrop by Tyler Fox. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's a sweet ride. Oh my. Oh, we're gonna go left again, aren't we? Yee! Set that rail. Watch out for the clamshell. Take a little shower. Kick out. Get the heck out of the way. Meow. Oh my. That's a nice one. Jamie Mitchell. Wave of the day. Oh, don't let it go. Yeah, da, da. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, splatto. Flying boards and flying bodies. Somebody went splat. He's all right, let him, let him paddle out. Nice job. Action. <laughs> Hello. Willem Banks here. So, talking about my boards here and they're quite amazing, I must tell you. Mike, Wallace, Twiggy, Iconoclast combination. 9.4 and 9.2, those are my go-to boards this year. A lot of foil, thick middle, thick nose, foiled out to a nice pinch so you can just like find the edge, you know? Find the edge, toe to, red, toe to heel. You know, a lot of volume through the center still so you can push through those flat sections and outrun the whitewater, or get around the whitewater so you can get to the face of the wave and surf it to like a normal board on a normal wave. That's the goal for sure, to just be able to surf a big wave like a normal, like small point break or something like that. That's the goal for sure. Sometimes you gotta go into survival stance, but definitely trying to work on shapes that allow me to surf waves to their truest potential on any size. So. These 9.2, this 9.2 and this 9.4 Twiggy Shape by Iconoclast Mike Wallace out of Half Moon Bay. I'm super psyched on them and I think we're working on something special. I mean, at least for me, definitely feels like I'm more and more comfortable out of Mavericks and feel like more and more is possible out there. And the main goal, besides being able to surf a big wave, is to get tubed out there. Obviously, it takes a special day for that to happen, but... You know, we're gonna be there, and I hope I'll be there for that special day. And what we've seen in the past is gonna push us into the future, and that future could um, maximize the potential of how Mavericks can be surfed. So, yeah, boards are everything. Confidence is key. Everyone stay safe. Thanks, Powerlines. Thanks, Mike Wallace. Thank you to everyone who surfs Mavericks and all the safety and everyone watching over us, everyone that looks at Mavericks as one of the greatest anomalies and energetic places of all time. We're all one unit. Let's do this. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging in there, and he is gonna make it. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Oh, he got swallowed up. All right, shadow this guy. Shadow. Uh...
Good question. Right where the right where the surfer is now. Boom. Oh, he's okay. He's paddling back out right now. Yeah. You. Uh oh. Somebody's on him. He's on the shoulder. Somebody went in to fix the fish. Yeah. Boom. And this is how it starts. Hey guys, I'm gonna run someone in really quick. I'll be right back. No. Roger that. And you're going into Parker or no? Yeah, a gentleman from this boat needs to ride in. Wait till I go, let's take turns. You! I think I missed that one. Clear. Clear. Yeah, this is a set, you guys. Heads up. And we're rolling. Look at these lines. Yow. Finally, some action. You. Eleven forty-five. Is that Peter? Peter. The Condor. One guy down, possibly two. One guy down, possibly two. Oh, uh, bomb. That's a bomb. Oh, board over the falls. Bam, right in the head. Yeah, got one guy deep in the pit. Ways, like kind of more in the bowl today and there's just a big set that came and it kind of s s broke a little further out than all the other waves today and I, I just had a, a chip into it and I almost ate it on the drop almost purled and then and then made it stuck it I was on John Mel's board and the thing felt really good it had it has grip, like the, the grip pad on it but on the whole board the way Peter Mel rides it I'm ready to go out here so I could have, could have been on a better board for that wave, and it, it went in my favor, and I didn't, I didn't die. <laughs> Woo! Fireworks, you guys, fireworks. Two guys in the pit. That was a hell of a set wave. No takers on that one. All right, we've got three skis. All right, you guys need to get out of there before it's too late. And we got a board going through the rocks. It's not a good place to be. Let 
takers on that one. Got one more guy. Bad boy, ooh. Another rider down. This guy's gonna keep us busy. Eric, you got a board? You spot a loose board? Not yet, I'm focused on the sky on the outside. Wow, what a set. I don't see the board. <clears throat> a recap on that, Frank. What happened? Uh, Taylor Paul got hammered on that giant set. Got held down for a long time. Uh, busted capillaries in his lungs and hitting up blood. Got him to the beach. What happened to the other guy? I paddled out that morning on a brand new 10-2 that I'd had in the rafters of all last season. It was just itching to try it. Um, and so I sat out the back and I was waiting for a good one. Uh, sat out the back for probably 40, 45 minutes before that set came. And I knew there were a lot of waves in the set, but I was yeah, I, just think, I haven't fallen on a wave in a long time. I think I can take this second one. It looks good. Seelbach was Peter. cheering me into it as I was as, as I was paddling into it. And I stood up and Usually I'm pretty good at taking a few strokes down the face, even when I think I'm into it, but uh, on that one I didn't. And stood up and the thing just kind of held me at the top. And yeah, I think with all that board, extra like five inches of board, I, I just kind of poked and couldn't recover. It just felt a bit awkward under my feet and dove off and, you know, had the initial impact, which was pretty violent and boom, up and over. Um, and I was just like, oh, this is gnarly because I knew there were waves behind it. And I was so deep and I pulled my vest once the kind of like, I kind of forgot about my vest for a second and then pulled it and then, you know, heard it inflate and was relieved and then started swimming up and it was just so many strokes to the top. And in my head, I was like thinking like, you just had a kid, you need to like, <laughs> I don't know, I was feeling like pretty embarrassed and, and uh, felt a little bit guilty. So I was like swimming to the top, just going, do it for Maya, do it for Maya, just swimming to the top. And, but I knew, I was like, oh, this has been so long. I know this wave is either gonna be on my head or uh, it's gonna pass over me. And sure enough, I came up, I got like one breath and then the white water just smoked me and was back down again for a bit. One guy deep in the pit. And then came up again and was like feeling pretty like weak and tired at that point, but like came up and like looked and I saw Sage coming down the face of that one, but it was just like all white around me. It was just the bright sun off the off the white water at foam, mm. plus the you know 40 foot of white water in front of me. Oh, and then that one hit me. And that one wasn't as bad, but so then afterwards, uh Frank Chiardi, after that wave, Frank Chiardi picked me up on his ski. I just, I could like barely get up and he was just like, come on Taylor, come on, you got this, you got this. And, um, you know, he, he picked me, he got me, I got onto the sled, my board was long gone going through the rocks at that point. But, um, you know, I got up there and I just kind of like started hacking and I just see the, the you know, red coming out. I was like, oh, this is so gnarly. Like, I don't know if, I don't, I don't know what I'm, what am I doing out here? Um, and so, yeah, Frank took me to the beach, or took me in, went and found, found my board. I hear the chatter between him and Eric on the cliff, and I was like, whoa, these guys are like really, it was pretty special to hear that chatter between them, because I was like, oh, they, bet they were talking that whole time, and they were kind of pointing things out and relaying. I just kind of had forgotten that that was such a um, key component to the safety out there. But uh, yeah, I told Frank, I was like, can you just drop me off on the beach, man? Like I'm absolutely done and uh he took me to the beach and you know my leash plugs had been ripped out and they'd gone through the rock so it had been um yeah the board was pretty banged up but i uh, at that point i was like i could 
throw this thing in the trash can, wouldn't care. Got in and was just super grateful to be touching the sand. You know, usually when I touch the sand in there, I feel like pretty like a bit triumphant and uh, not that day. I felt like an ant. I felt like I'd just been truly humbled, which is probably a valuable thing. Mitchell is paddling out. Nice. This is heads up with this is a possible swinger set, you guys. Yeah, that one's coming straight down the channel. <laughs> the old red eye, it's been a while, Kurt, and I'll tell you what, it gets harder as you get older it's <laughs> it's a quarter red eye for a reason but um I, you know it always feels good as jumping in the water so the cold brisk water of half moon bay but um it's fun out here man yeah. you just got a good one i did i got a good one i um i lost two of my fins on my way before and i went back out and i got a pretty good one on a twin fin <laughs> i <I'm> stoked <laughs> <laughs> that's funny yeah so and uh i think it's high tide now right and then it's gonna start to drain out so i think i might take a little siesta and uh, save my energy and wait for the tide to drop a little bit sounds good mate. yeah yeah all right here we go here we go Wow. Down the line. Down the line, down the line. Will he make it? Somebody's going, charging, backside. You. Oh yeah. Oh no. Avalanche. Duh. Avalanche. This guy got a mode. Guy got mode. One in the fifth. That wave landed right on him.
Oh, this is looking solid. Woo! Yeah, buddy. And he does not come out. One in the fifth. That was heavy. That wave landed right on him. Who's that going backside? Hunter Merson, Bathroom Bay Cowboy. All right, Sage, tell us about uh, this swell experience in, in a minute. I don't know. A uh, minute. Drove up 9 p.m., got here at 3.30 p.m. in the morning, slept for two hours, headed out sunrise with Kurt, just watched it for a few hours, saw some sick waves, and um, just wanted to take my time, kind of let things happen, not try to force it and the wave came right to me and I got the biggest wave of my life so I'm really stoked on how things went I, I didn't take any wipeouts and body feels good and, and also got now I have somebody to drive back with me from Francisco <laughs> keep me company so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be alone on the way home and then yeah. Francisco, tell us about your, your, your trip here Um, yeah and we came from Peahi yesterday um morning yesterday it's crazy no wait the day before yesterday and um we followed the swell and uh showed up took the red eye and showed up uh 6 45 and then took a while to get out there and we had a amazing like evening session just pristine mavs first swell winter is like getting to see all the boys the mavs crew and uh it's just always such a special little chase from Hawaii so always humbled and always thankful because it's really amazing beautiful waves yeah <laughs> we'll see you soon yeah definitely all right it's just the beginning yeah Everybody's coming in. We're at a Maverick and you just can't see. How oh, funny. There's Chachi recording everything. Starkey. Dude, look at, there's people out at Mavericks. You can't see them. Yeah. All right. I guess it's over. Cool. That doesn't sound so good. Maybe we'll go down the stretch. That doesn't sound so good, bro.